Now at 11, a gunman shot and killed in a hail of bullets. The deadly confrontation creates chaos in a crowded Studio City intersection. Good evening, I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers, and tonight from Micah. Well, tonight a gunman is dead, and an LAPD bomb squad has defused two suspicious packages that he left behind. Yeah, this chaotic confrontation unfolded on a very busy Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. Hundreds of people were out there walking and driving by. Let's go to Steve Koosh. He's live there tonight. He's got more on the story. Steve. Rick, share we just learned more about those suspicious packages. The suspect not only had a gun, but according to investigators, had a device that he designed to look like some kind of actual bomb. What this man planned to do with this device, we don't know because officers shot him during a tense standoff. Dozens, if not hundreds of people were around in this area when officers took out this armed man right in front of the city bank. And so people are saying the guy out front with a gun, five or six shots, and bam, 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 bam. 3.30 Friday afternoon, as the streets of Studio City were filling with people getting off of work and heading to restaurants and shops to start their weekend. Officers say a disturbed man had a gun and was waving it in the air. He had one hand on his right leg and the other hand that was holding a gun with a piece of paper over it on his left leg. He was sitting down and the gun was faced towards the street. And at one point, bang, a shot goes off. And I turned to the other guy and I said, what was it? And he said, the guy from, the guy shot, a, a, shot around. People on Ventura Boulevard started running. In the chaos, store and restaurant managers yelled at customers to get on the floor. Others outside grabbed the nearest cover they could. Larry helped me get behind a car and uh, to safety. Officers on the scene shouted at the man to drop the gun. They opened fire on him when he didn't. I saw the gentleman go back into the planter box. If you want, I, could yeah. send. I mean, was, was that it for the man? That was it for the man. He, it, there was no movement after that. It was very dramatic. Within a minute, another officer came up, said, all right, in your car, get out now. Officers in full body armor and assault rifles swarmed the area. One witness heard the gunman shout he had a bomb. The SWAT team used a robot to detonate several suspicious packages and items near where the gunman was lying shot and unconscious. When officers didn't find any explosive or dangerous items, they moved in to examine the gunman's body. Do you, do you think officers had no choice but to shoot and kill this man? Absolutely, because there were people in the shops that were across from where he had the gun pointed directly at and he didn't comply. Officials have not identified the suspect directly, but they do tell me he is a white man, most likely in his 40s. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what he was doing here. Now, as for this area of Ventura Boulevard and Laurel Canyon Boulevard, it's going to be shut down until tomorrow morning. Rick and Cheryl, I'll send it back to you. All right, Steve Kuz, thank you.